3-3-8 ERA. And the first man he faces, Michael Braswell, 14, 3 and 11 in the league. And the first batter goes down swinging, and that is strikeout number 33 on the year for Seacrest. That is a four-pitch walk for Tommy, so there will be a runner on and one out. Fastball in, got him. Pushed one run across, that's all they could get. Travinsky goes down swinging. Five last weekend. A little chopper, Ackenhausen spins, fires, and safe at first. That one has popped up. Milam will make the catch, and the inning is over. And Ashton Larson, who is the designated hitter today, and he'll look at a call third strike. That's another game for You're almost a definite shoe in this league. Sharply hit, glove there by Curley. Can he make this play? And the throw, a three hopper over there, but Bingham beats it out. He's, he's a monster regardless. Runner goes, and that's why they call him monster. Nice job at the plate by the freshman, Stephen Milam. Lays down the bunt right in front of the plate. Cal Stark going to third, and got him at third. Boy, a bang, bang play. 0 for 2 this weekend. Ground ball, Christian Moore fields. He'll go to first with it, and that'll end the inning, and LSU will leave with a couple of more runners. Making his first start of the year. Nine appearances out of the bullpen. And he did go this time, Jeff Head says so. There's the tag and the strikeout. One and two on him. And that is a strikeout, and the inning is over. With the Crimson Tide with 87 strikeouts. There's a ground ball off the bat of Cal Stark. Just telling you. There's a ground ball. Milam's going to have to move to his left. Nice play by the second baseman. That'll be the second out. <laughs> Lifted high in the air, out to left. Bingham to the wall. This one is out of here. Home run, Blake Burke. What a way to keep the streak alive. This is like old school David Ortiz playing it off the, the big monster in Fenway right here. Just play the win, get the ball high to left field, inside out, catches it a little deep, but that is the exact ball flight you need to take advantage of the conditions today. Nothing going out of the park. The SEC tournament. Mm -hmm. I think it's a base knock here. The shift was on and he went through the right side of the second base bag. Swing and a miss. That'll be the second out of the inning. 89 getting swings and misses. Uh oh, they got him. Got a pick off. High throw and safe. Got to start trying new things. That ball shot out to right. This will get a run home. So Ashton Larson picks up the stolen base and it pays dividends for LSU. And it's a 2 1 ball game. The RBI goes to Bingham, his 24th of the year. They switched up their coverage. Smart. Attack put on there by Christian Moore. And that'll end the inning. Ground ball. They had him shielded up the middle and shaded up the middle. And that one is played well by Milam. Star Tinsley off with a strikeout. Yes. High in the air, out to left center. Wind pushing it that way. Boy, I tell you what, Paxton clean. Oh. Ran right into Mac Bingham. And who held on to the ball? Kling did. Whew. Folks, that is uh, electric is the best way to sum that up. High in the air, out to left. I don't think there's a chance this one stays in the ballpark and Hayden Travinsky just went yard and tied this thing up his ninth of the year the first home run of the series 
this is a game plan today. Hit it high and let it fly to left field. And I think he caught a little towards the end. But of course, as soon as he launched it, he knew it was gone. A no doubter on a day where the wind is flying out to left. I think if Travinsky hits all of it, it goes way over those party decks. But that one, plenty far enough to put one on the board. Ashton Larson out to right center. That one drops. He's going to try to stretch this into double. Here's the throw. Got him at second. LSU wants to challenge this play at second. Larson tried to hustle down, but a nice job by Hunter Inslee. Let's see if the glove gets there before the hands do. Oh, I think he's oh, in there. Yeah, I think he's in there. After review, the call to the field be reversed. Yeah. Safe. LSU. That's the right call. Yeah. Inning is over. But LSU does get the home run to tie things up. High in the air to the right side. Looks like this one's going to stay in play. And a long run over there by Jake Brown, and he can't come up with it. The That's good. Ball. That's right. That ball's hit hard and deep to left. That one is gone for Christian Moore. Home run, Tennessee. They take the lead at 3-2. to two. side for a guy that loves to swing as hard as he can swing and hit it as hard as he can hit it wins 14 to 2 this one high in the air out to left who's going to make the play this time Kling will let Bingham make the catch and that'll end the inning yeah. Kirby Cannell comes in does his job it's the volunteers back in the dugout lined oh off the back of the Glove of Braswell, and that'll be a base hit for Dean Curley. I think it was sharply hit. But it's a lot of cutter, slider, sinker. Starts things off with a walk to Hunter Inslee. And he will square up, and he does lay down the butt. The only play is going to be over to first as Tommy Lark charges in from third base. So, called strike three. He's done it again, he may have hit the third deck. five homers in his last seven games. That's called hot. And when he gets hot, he can carry a club. And that is exactly what he's done in this ball game. Now back-to-back -back home runs in his last two at-bats. Two homers, four ribbies. First pitch off the bat of Blake Burke is off the wall. Blake will turn the corner and just miss getting it out of there for his second home run of the day. Wow. And they will intentionally walk, by the way, Billy Amick. That's drawing the Boo Birds. Leads the conference by a long margin. Tears goes down. I mean, you got to be able to appreciate that when it's happening. Ground ball back up the middle. That one scoots three, so a base hit for Braswell, his first today. He launches one. That thing is a no-doubter. That is over the party deck. Welcome to the home run parade, Mr. White. Just a matter of time before Tommy Tanks joined in on the fun. I talked about it with Travinsky. 
when the guy like Travinsky or White catches one good on a day like today where the wind's blowing that hard over the left field, like it's going to go either to the top or over the party deck. And Tommy White just exhibit A with that right there, a bomb to straightaway left field. 63 career home run. Another 77, five straight at 77 miles an hour and gets a strike out of the guy they want him to be as well. Down goes Travinsky. Ground ball to the right side. That'll do it. Line, but right at the second baseman, Milam. Sharply hit past Braswell. Hensley with his first base hit. And he draws the walk. Moore with two home runs today. That one's lifted high in the air. Paxton Kling broke out. The ball all the way in, and nobody can catch it. Two runs will score. That is absolutely crazy what just happened to that baseball. Paxton Kling broke back like five steps, and the ball was just beyond the shortstop. There's a ground ball. Milam's going to charge. Going to have to hurry, and he does so. High in the air, out to center field. Hensley makes the catch. There's the strikeout. Ground ball to the right side. Burke is there. He'll step on the bag, and Tennessee wins it. They get their first SEC series sweep of the year, and LSU is swept for the second time in conference play. The final score, Tennessee wins it 8-4. to four.